Judge Skopelitis, I wanted to ask you something about a comment from a Chicago attorney by the name of Richard Kulerski, who wrote an article called, How Do Divorce Lawyers Get Divorced? <laughs> and his comment is, there is one thing that all divorce lawyers and divorce judges try to do in their own divorces. They do everything they can to stay out of court. Does he know what he's talking he about? He absolutely does. That doesn't surprise me at all, because um, what does that tell you about the, the adversary system in family law cases? It's to be avoided at all costs. Who knows that better than anyone else? Judges and lawyers. And they do everything. This is what he said. They do everything they can to stay out of court. Right. Because they know that practically nothing good is going to come out of going to court. This is what he says. Uh, who in their right mind wouldn't want to avoid, uh, want to avoid court? They wait, it wastes energy. It takes financial resources, emotional resources you need everywhere uh, else. And this, the judges and the lawyers know more than anybody. Right, exactly. And, and uh, a great lesson for all of the other folks out there who think that the solution to their marital problems in getting a divorce is to come into court and get a judge's ruling. And I just want to close with this thought. Judge Scopolitis really has been one of the heroes in helping to communicate this in the bench and the bar, and I think also to the public, because I think uh, a lot of your work, Judge Scopolitis, cons consists of telling parents, please, please work these things out. If, if there's any conceivable way, virtually any concession you can make here, any agreement that you can make on your own is going to serve you and your children better than living in this the, in this combative system that we call our adversarial system. Absolutely. And even when I'm forced to make an order uh, in a case, I'll try to leave something in that order for the parties to work out so that I can restore to them the power to work out their own problems and their own issues and, and restore to them faith in their ability to work out their own problems in the future going forward. There's a great line by a psychologist, Christy Coates from Colorado, who said, Great professionals carry hope when the parents have temporarily lost theirs, and I think that's a wonderful example of it. I didn't know that, but that's a, a wonderful thing, that you invest them with confidence. I'm going to give you something, and I know you can work this, at least this part of it out, and then start building on that. Right, and, and I, I've told uh, folks in court many times, look, long after the lawyers and I are gone, the two of you are still going to have to try to work things out together. I said, your children are small now, but even when they're grown up, there are going to be grandchildren, and there are going to be birthdays and anniversaries. And uh, you're not going to have lawyers and judges there to referee all of those issues that are going to come up during those, uh, those events. So you, you need to work those things out yourself. You need to learn. You need to, to have the tools available to you to work those things out on your own without coming to court. Thank you, Judge. Those are wise and, I would add, courageous insights. Thanks so much.